What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Gold Guy YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm standing in front of my Subaru. So that means that this is going to be another Subaru video. Alrighty guys, now I can fit my fat ass under this car. In this video, we're going to see, we're going to- Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do- We'll be finding out if a catalytic converter really quiets down the exhaust. A lot of people say that it ruins the exhaust sound and a lot of people run without catalytic converters, which is how my car is right now. It's pretty much straight piped with a resonator thrown in there in the back. We're gonna need a catalytic converter for this job, obviously. Okay, here we go, just like that. Amazon's got this new thing, air shipping. I picked up this $45 high flow cat catalytic converter off Amazon. It had really good reviews and it's a three inch inlet and outlet. So I'm gonna put a link to this thing in the description and we're gonna put this on the car and test it out. No, this is not an affiliate video. I'm just doing this all for me. I actually paid for this, didn't get it free. So let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. So here we go, TWG Exhaust Company, catalytic converter, special half inch lap joint welds, honeycomb catalyst, recessed cushioning mat. I don't know what most of this stuff means, but let's just open it up and see what it looks like. So it's really small, really nice. I actually thought it would be a lot longer, but hey, I mean, this seems good good enough for me. Seems like pretty good quality. Uh, definitely a honeycomb. Check that shit out, guys. So I guess we should make this video a little bit scientific. So I downloaded this uh, sound meter app. And I'm going to find out really how many decibels the exhaust is running at now and then put the catalytic converter on. How many times am I going to say that during this video? Catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. We're going to scientifically determine just how much quieter the catalytic converter makes, makes my exhaust. This app's pretty cool. So it shows you what the decibels are kind of sounding like. Right now, it's just rustling leaves. And then when I talk, it gets up to 65, some around there. So guys, comment down below how many decibels you think the exhaust is going to be with no catalytic, catalytic converter. And also comment how much you think it's going to quiet the exhaust down. So let's go ahead and turn on the car and just do some science. Alrighty, so just that idle at around 700 RPM. We're getting 70, we'll just say 75 to 80 decibels at idle. Alrighty guys, so scientific test concluded. So let's go ahead finally get the catalytic converter on the car and then we'll be able to compare the decibels and the sound from before and after. I'm pretty uh, pretty excited to see what it's going to sound like. So let's get this thing on the car. There it is guys. There's the mid pipe with the fake catalytic converter. So when I bought this exhaust kit on eBay I was looking at the mid pipe and it really looked like it was a high flow catalytic converter and they 
really didn't say that it wasn't in the description. But as you can see, and as I soon found out, there's nothing in there at all. And this should fit right on there. Definitely gonna be a lot more restrictive than this, so it should make it a lot quieter. It's actually weird, you can barely even see light through it. Just a tiny little, tiny little bit of light. So it's definitely going to be a bit restrictive. Now we just gotta get this right here. So some of you guys might be wondering, why the hell would you wanna make your exhaust quieter? You know, why would you want a catalytic converter? I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking that. Well, here are some reasons to put a catalytic converter on your car. I mean, every stock car comes with at least one, usually a few of them. So they're definitely important, and here are a few reasons why. One reason is that, I should have thought about this a little bit better. So one reason, they make your exhaust smell a lot better. I don't know if you guys with your straight piped cars have ever noticed when you're backing up, you can smell the exhaust and it's usually a pretty strong, dirty, kind of fumey odor, which I don't love that, so that's one reason to put a, use a catalytic converter. Second reason is, in a lot of states you need these to pass inspection, and I actually don't know if I'm going to need one in Pennsylvania or not, but whenever I go to get my car inspected this, uh, this winter, I definitely won't have any problems with that, which is nice. Uh, third reason is save your planet guys. These things really do help with uh, cutting down on pollution. So if you care anything about planet Earth, the one planet we live in, the only planet we have so far, uh, Elon Musk is working on it. So, you know, there might be possibilities of living on Mars someday. But until then, we gotta actually care about the planet we live in. And so that's the third major reason why catalytic converters are great. Yeah. buy a fake catalytic converter so since this is actually a few inches shorter than the old fake catalytic converter that was on my mid pipe before I'm gonna have to add about five inches to the mid pipe before I can clamp these together just a little pro tip from an amateur like me if you're cutting pipe with uh, with an angle grinder the best way to get a perfect cut is to just put a hose clamp around the pipe and then cut alongside the hose clamp See guys, perfect cut. All right, so since I'm gonna be clamping onto this piece, I'm gonna have to cut three notches in this so that when I clamp it down, it'll really, you know, squeeze together. So let's go ahead and notch this up a little bit. All right, there we go guys, three notches on each side and that's gonna clamp up beautifully. I don't think it matters which way it goes. Pretty sure it doesn't. So I don't know which way the clamps are gonna have to go. I don't know how long this thing's gonna have to be, so I'm just gonna clamp it just a little bit, enough to hold it together, and then once I get it in position, I can fine tune the position of the setup. That's good. A little tighter, still a little wiggly there. Okay, that's good. And then the flange goes, oh shit. And then the flange goes in. And back in we go. I should have put the pipe in before myself. Mistake. So I have run, I have, so I have had the car running since I put the catalytic converter on. So I do know what it sounds like, but I haven't scientifically tested it yet. So I'm gonna have to get that app on my phone 
back up and running. We're gonna start up this car and show you guys how it sounds. Bam! So it's definitely quieter than it was before. So at idle, it's running at about 63 decibels, which is almost 10 decibels quieter than when it was before stock. Well, not stock. You know what I mean. Before I put the catalytic converter on. Wow, it's getting to the like 55s. So we're just going to say it's a good 10 decibels quieter at idle. And when I first started it up, I expected it to sound a lot quieter when I first started it up. I was kind of surprised. But I feel like it'll get quieter and quieter as the carbon buildups uh, fill in the honeycomb. It definitely is quieter, but it still sounds nice. So let's go ahead and give it a quick few revs and see what decibel we get to. So there you go guys, the answer to the question, does a catalytic converter make an exhaust quieter? Well, if you get the high flow catalytic converter that I got on Amazon or one similar to it, uh, it definitely will make it just a little bit quieter, but if you don't love a, an overly loud exhaust, then it's perfect because it takes all, it takes the drone away, but it still sounds great. You can still hear the exhaust. And as you guys heard, it still sounds really sweet. Now it has kind of a bit more of a pop than it did before. A little bit of a crackle on the on the down rev. Is that what you call it? Like the video for down rev. If you haven't already, guys, please subscribe for more videos like this. The only thing that really keeps my channel going and keeps me making videos. Also, guys, sorry for the lack of videos lately. I've uh, had a new job. I've been working at a house doing some carpentry work and shit. And that takes up a lot of time. So sorry about the lack of videos. Summer's kind of a time where I work a lot. If you want to see me turbocharging this car, maybe you haven't seen that series yet, uh, click the link up here and in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.